Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Let's have today's video. It's a dogfish head beer. It's new to me. It's called Citrus Squall Double Golden Ale. Um, double Golden Ale. Okay. So, so didn't they have a beer named Squall? I thought it was an IPA. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. But I remember like a 750. Whatever. They'll look it up. Uh, ale with grapefruit juice and blue agave nectar. Uh, our, our, our perfect storm infusing a double golden ale with grapefruit juice, lime peel, and blue agave nectar. I was going to say I thought it had lemon in it, or lime in it, um, but the front didn't say that. Interesting. Proper glassware. So you know it's going to taste better. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying this a lot recently, eh? Just got in from doing some yard work. <laughs> so I want like a refreshing beer after being out in the heat doing that. Uh, man, this glass is dirty. Oh my God, look how bad that is. That's bad. Dirty Glass Mafia, is that still a thing? All right. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a golden ale color. It's uh, It just looks unfiltered, not particularly uh, hazy, hazy. Uh, maybe a little bit of... Chill haze as well. The head is white, not a lot. Not that I poured super aggressive. Um, yeah, looks like a nice beer. There's a little bit of carbonation going and all that. Uh, we got some lacing, a little bit of legs at 8%. Let's get to the aroma. It's very pink grapefruit. I mean, I get a lot of that grapefruit, and I love grapefruit, just FYI. So, like, I'm hoping this has a good amount. The aroma makes it seem like the taste will have a lot. Like, it smells very grapefruity. Then you get, like, well, like, lime, fair enough. But, like, I get, um, like, coriander, like, things that are citrusy, but not citrus. So, like, I get some of that. And I don't know if they're going for, like, a Belgian uh, golden ale specifically or not. But, like... Um, Kind of like that, like wheat kind of thing. <sighs> yeah, like that Belgian yeasty thing. Not not wheat. Sorry, Belgian yeasty thing. Although it, it kind of smells like a whip beer a little bit too. But man, that grapefruit is everything. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. That delivers on the grapefruit. Wow. Wow. Crisp, very crisp. Kind of because of how bitter the grapefruit is in a, maybe a relatively sweet beer, it scratches that itch for like IPA people, you know? Man, it is, and maybe it's the lime peel, but it's like grapefruit juice, grapefruit zest. Like I was saying, some like citrus adjacent things. But like, if I was doing this blind, I, I not orange, but I think I would say grapefruit, lemon, and lime, and there's no lemon in it, so it, it is very appropriately named and very citrusy. Kind of like I was saying before, you know, it, it'd be interesting to try this base beer because it drinks like a bitter IPA ish, you know. So it, it's pretty cool. Like, I think there's, like, a lot of overlap. If someone just drinks IPAs and you're trying to get them to, like, gently get outside their bubble, this would be a really good one. Excuse me. It's the ABV. It's, it's not thin, but it's certainly not, like, some thick beer either. Again, crispness, which is nice. I, this is really good. This is, this is. I mean, 8%. You know, I was going to say this is like a really good warm weather beer, but not too many of them because they don't get too dehydrated. But yeah, this is like fantastic job, Dogfish Head. I know no one at the brewery is going to watch this, but fantastic job. If you guys had this one before, do you know what I'm talking about with that Squall, which I think was an IP? I'm going to look it up after this is done recording anyway. Uh, anything related to this at all or unrelated, just get those comments going down there. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.